All right, now, Mark Lottering has been a household name for years and years, and so too uh, are his characters, Smiley, Galantia, fan favourites, but, of course, Auntie Merle undoubtedly takes uh, the, the cake when it comes to that, so much so that she now returns to the stage with her whole family for a musical. And here from Auntie Merle, the musical is Mark Lottering, Taryn Lamb, and Stephen Jubber. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Good morning. You're looking absolutely fantastic, all of you. And uh, let, let's which one do you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> Can we not start like this, Mark? Uh, okay, cool. You and I have yeah. ironed things out. But uh, I want to start, start off with you first, Taryn, just to talk about the fact that you, you grew up watching the characters that Mark has portrayed uh, right. in several shows. And for you now to be working on a musical uh, with him, with featuring one of these characters, is, is that a bit of a dream come true for you? Absolutely. I've been a big fan of Mark's work from day one. And this past year has just been absolutely incredible for me. Yeah. Um, on a creative level, he's given me the opportunity to explore songwriting through a musical theater form, wow. which has changed my life. And as a cast member, it's something that I know all of us as a cast can share. It's a magic for us to step onto stage and play the characters, the roles of the characters that Auntie Mill introduced to his audiences um, those years ago. Yeah. So it's really fantastic and it's such a blessing to be working with Mark. And beautiful images there from the stage as well. Stephen, what, what about you? What's the experience been like? Because you're no stranger to, to film and to stage. What, is, what has it been like for you working on the production? Well. I'd like to think of myself as a musicals guy, and I've done predominantly, I mean, in, in my career, musical theatre has been my thing. Yeah. But this is the first time I've ever done a South African local production, you know, dreamed up by a member of the cast, and, and with lyrics and songs by another member of the cast. So yeah. it's nothing but a dream come true to wow. be working alongside the people who, who created this, this brand new piece. And yeah. it's good. It's really, really, really good. Yeah. Mark, you sound shocked. <laughs> I, I, I never knew it, you know. You, know, <laughs> you roll the dice and it, it could be a turkey or it could be a smash. But wow. um, <laughs> it, it happens to be a smash. Yeah. Yeah. So well done, well Mark, done. Mark, how much of a dream come true is this for you? Because, I mean, you obviously developed this character from conceptualization to putting it on stage over years and years and years, and now it's blossomed into this beautiful, it's a musical. It's a musical, indeed. We, uh, we were just chatting earlier on because yesterday was, was our first, normal day for the whole year it was because now the show is settled yes. so it was an off day um i'd been Ted and i'd been writing um, for an entire year um up until this point yeah so um and the character was created 20 years ago my word um, two decades of auntie mill two decades <laughs> of auntie mill but she was just part of my stand-up in monologues yes. and um and then um, David Kramer had an idea a few years back to do a musical around it, but instead we did a musical around Shmiley, yes. the taxi gachi, uh -huh. and that was called Some Like It Frot. Yeah, yes, yes, And yes. then um, yeah. this year, um, you know, we decided to bring this one to stage where, because Auntie Mill for years has been talking about her husband Dennis, her neighbor Suraya, her daughter who Taryn plays in the show, and her son and a helper, Lydia. But every audience member had it in their own heads what these people look like. Yes. Um, so people have been imagining oh, them wow. for more than 10 years. And, um, and now we've had to, we've auditioned actors and we've brought them to life. So Royston Stoffels plays Dennis Mill's husband. Um, Tankiso Mamabolo um, does a phenomenal role of Lydia, yeah. Mill's helper with some show-stopping songs. So um, we have a cast of 14 people. Amazing. Um, and a, a live band of eight, eight member bands, so we're 22 in the company. We've been rocking. It's been um, standing ovations That's every awesome. night until, um, you know, so, so when you say has it sunk in yet, no, yeah. it hasn't. I'm just, I'm just in disbelief and obviously um, having the best time. That is super. That is super. And I also want to touch on the fact that uh, the, the show, I, I haven't seen it yet and I can't wait to come and see it, but it addresses some pretty serious stuff. You talk about interracial marriage. It does, it does. You talk about infidelity. We Yes, you know, serious things. Uh, yeah, serious things. I mean, I've, I've, I've looked at these people and, um, you know, I spoke to them and they all came with infidelity and interracial <laughs> stuff and I wrote around them. 
<laughs> but um, but I, the, you know, the show's directed by Lara Foot, yeah. Um, and she's um, she's quite a force to be reckoned with in the in the industry. Um, she's also known to to be doing very deep, profound work and and the issues. So for her to be um, coming on on board with musical comedy, um, it's quite a you know for a lot of people, it's like you know how will how will we marry? You know? Yeah. And it's been amazing because the issues we touch on. Um, as, as you said, they play, they fall in love, and so this ma this marriage is happening. He's from Bantu Bay, she's from Athlone, uh, so the two families need to come together. And Mel cannot understand why his mother says no, but the, you know, Max Max guestless um, for the wedding should be one twenty, and Mel says, "No, we're starting with six fifty. I mean, we're from Athlone. What are you talking about? One twenty is the catering stuff. So, so um, and then it gets it gets a bit more serious. The the relationship between Lydia from Kailicha and Mel from Athlone. Mm. Um, you know, how does that pan out? Because um, we bring in um, Lydia's daughter, who says, "You've been more of a mother to this Athlone family than you ever were to this Kailicha family." Sure. Um, and we touch on those issues. A mole son loves Beyonce a lot. <laughs> there's, um, okay, so there's, so there's clearly a lot of package into this, which is, yeah, lot, yeah, which is why you it. need to go into this. And I'm, I'm going to treat myself this festive season and Please go do. and watch the show. And if you'd like to, as well, be sure to catch Auntie Mole, the musical, and the stellar cast. It is now on at the Baxter Theatre, and it runs until the 13th of January. It's now been extended to the 20th of January. To the 20th! Yeah. Get your tickets. It's definitely a show not to miss. Guys, thank you very much, and have a wonderful ride. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.